Hey guys, welcome back to another Joe Muller product review. Trader Joe's Broccoli and Cauliflower Gratin. Up next. Okay guys, so the... Groton cost me a total of $3.99. Okay, guys, right out of the microwave, eight minutes have expired. And let me do a little bit of a mixy mix here, guys. Still a little bit frozen. So we're going to mix, do a little mixeroo here. A little watery. I guess that's why we're mixing. Still a little frozen. I can smell the cheese. I can smell the broccoli, the cauliflower. It does not look good at all, guys. <laughs> all right, another five minutes. We'll give it a shot. Okay, guys, and this is it right out of the microwave. You can see it is very, very hot. It's almost lava-like in consistency. Let me just give it a little mixy mix here, guys, for you. very mushy but I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes I don't want to dig into this it's just too hot and then we're gonna give it a shot guys look at all this crust up here Got a little crust action going on here all right we'll be right back okay guys it has been sitting for at least five minutes and you can see it is cooled down some of the things I notice is it doesn't appear as watery as it did. But the vegetables are very, very mushy, as you can see. All right, let me give this a shot. Grab a little, I guess, broccoli and cauliflower. All right, first bite. Salute. It is very, very creamy, very milky. The vegetables, broccoli and cauliflower, that is, just disintegrate in my mouth. So it's milky. It's not as cheesy as I thought it would be. You're getting a lot of sauce here, guys. You're not really getting that much broccoli and cauliflower. You're getting a lot of sauce, for sure. All right, try a little more. Mm. It needs to be seasoned up a little bit. I would definitely add pepper. I would definitely add salt, believe it or not. Just looking at this, sodium is 420 milligrams. For me, I definitely need more salt. For $3.99, it's really not bad. It's not great. It is borderline good to fair. Um, like I said, the, the vegetables are way, way overcooked. They basically disintegrate. A little bit on the watery side. A little bit, not much. I thought I'd get a little bit more of a deep, rich gratin flavor instead of a sort of more of a bechamel neutral. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the very best, I'm giving this a 6.5. Um, if you guys are really a fan of broccoli and cauliflower gratin, you probably make it yourselves and don't need to go to Trader Joe's to purchase this. I really am hesitant to recommend it, but uh, I'm giving it a 6.5. Would I get this again? Definitely not. 
Can I recommend it? Like I said, lukewarm, yellow light, proceed with caution. Anyway, that was my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. God bless. And so long. Bye.